How you doing today? Let's do a quick fast tutorial. Let me show you how to switch scenes using the 3D game kit. So if you don't have it already, you need to open up your asset store. Once you have the asset store open, just search for 3D game kits. Like so. So just download it, import it, have it in your scene, create a new scene. Right here I'm in my level 5. Best way to make a new scene, I don't know if it's the best, but it's the quickest. Just find it in your file explorer, <clears throat> highlight it, copy and paste it. I'm going to call it level 6. And go back to Unity, and you'll see it. In there it is. Okay, I'm in level five. I'll put a link down below to the docs. See, first thing you want to do is you want to look for the transition start. So just go to the search bar in your project window, and search for transition start. As you can see, there's a prefab right there. Just drag it into your scene. All you get is a collider. So just put it in the general area where you're going to want it for now. We'll come back to fine tuning our placement and size in a second. You get a lot of prefabs with the 3D game kit, and we're going to use some right now just real quick. You go to the environment folder, it's in the prefab folder, in the structures folder, and I'm going to find a gateway, huge, and I'm going to drag it in the scene. I'm also going to scale it so it's a lot smaller. Scale it by half. That looks a little bit better. I'm going to rotate it also on the Y axis. I'm going to go back to highlighting the transition start prefab again in the hierarchy. So basically we're just using this door, this gateway, as an incentive for the person to hit the collider that you won't be able to see once you press play. Now we're going to adjust the transition start. First thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to rename it to transition to level 6. That way it's more easier to understand. If we have multiple, it won't get as confusing. First thing, you want to remove this Box Collider 2D, and you want to remove the transition point scripts. Then we want to add a component.
box collider. And then we're also going to add another transition point script. Now with this box collider, we can resize to match the shape of the door. You also want to make sure is trigger is selected. And then we'll move on to the transition point. <clears throat> transition game object so we want to find Ellen from the hierarchy and drag her over the transition type is going to be different zone which is a whole different scene your other choices are obvious same scene and different non gameplay scene like the start menu but we're going to keep it different zone The transition destination tag is right now A. We're going to leave it A. This refers to if we have another transition star in the same level, we would give it a tag of B, just so they'd be different. And then we're going to change the transition when to on trigger enter to match the trigger event. See, this is where you might run into issues. When you, This is where you're going to select where you're going to transport the player to. We created a level 6, but it does not show up here. And that is because we did not add it to the build settings. So let's do that now. Go up to File, Build Settings. See, it's not here. Easy way to get it here is find it in your project window. There's our level 6, just grab it and drag it. And that's it. Now when we go back to our transition to level 6, we have level 6 as an option. And that is it, let's play and test this out. There we go, now we're on level 6. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. And if you notice, you also get a pretty nifty loading screen that's built in that you can customize yourself. We'll go over that in another tutorial. Hope this helps. Please subscribe and have fun. Bye.